Well, today is the day of the great eclipse. Do we just stare at it until something happens? Can you guess where we are today? <laughs> we are here at the new space. It's very empty. It's very equi. It's very quiet. Uh, but I decided to pop over today um, and just kind of survey it and get an idea for how we're going to lay things out. Uh, Sage's dad is a contractor. Um, he owns a contracting company and he is doing the work for us, which is very exciting. Uh, we met with him last week and the next day he was like, okay, can we get in and start? And I was like, what? There's already stuff happening here. So I was like, you know what? I should probably get over there and film a before, before it's already after. <laughs> so um, I'm gonna give you guys a look at the space. It's not much, it's, it's a smaller space, but I think it's really all we need for the e-commerce stuff. So let me turn you guys around, give you an idea for the space that we're working with and how we plan on laying it out. If you guys have suggestions, you know, Maybe you think, oh, it would look, it would, it would be more, more, um, have a better flow if you do it this way, Jocelyn. I'm open to suggestions, uh, so feel free to drop your suggestions in the comment. But um, I'm gonna go over like how we planned or envisioned it, and uh, yeah, maybe in a week or two, it'll all be built out, which is kind of crazy. Ta-da! That's it. That's the space. Isn't that so exciting? <laughs> It's a very open floor plan. Uh, but this is kind of uh, what we're dealing with, what we're working with. Uh, like we have this uh, wall over here, which is um, kind of just here. It's kind of a fake, it's a fake wall. I mean, it's a wall, but it's just a cosmetic wall. Um, so what we're thinking of doing is um, bringing this out a little bit and making it go across so that we have more space on this side. So the wall's gonna be moved this direction a little bit. Uh, and then over here we have processing. So this is where Shelby will be processing stuff. We have the processing sink over here. We'll probably set her up like a table or something. So she has room to work. Uh, but this is gonna be processing area. And then over here is going to be Sage's shipping. So she'll have her desk here, computer, packing supplies, everything set up on this wall and we're going to build a wall so where you see the floor here this is all going to be wall this is kind of the layout of it um, there will be a double door here and somewhere oh here this is the door so this is the door opening here so um out here we will have shelving i think the shelving is going to go here uh, for all of the items that have been processed and either need listed or sold on a live sale, they need to go away. So we'll have some shelving here. We'll have a table um, where we can lay things out for live sales. Uh, so what I'll do is I'll probably pick the items ahead of time, put them on the table and let you guys choose what I'm selling. I find that works easier than shop the shelves because a lot of the times when you're shopping a shelf, you can't see what's on the back of the shelf. So the table, the table option has been really good to us. So we're going to set up a table for that purpose. Um, over here is kind of going to be like our little uh, gathering area. I bought a really, a really big rug, a really cool table. Uh, we've got artwork for the walls. So this is just going to be kind of like our gathering area right here. If we just want to hang out um, and uh, eat lunch or do something as a team, we can do that. And then up here, uh, <laughs> I was thinking of putting like a little desk up here. It's kind of awkward. It's kind of an awkward space, but I've got plugs over here. I figured this could be like a little desk area if need be. Maybe even build a wall here, I don't know. I just thought of that, but um, I don't really need, I don't think I really need it. I don't need a wall. We'll keep it open. Uh, back here, what we're going to do is we're going to actually take out... This was a shower stall, I think, maybe, at one point in its life. I don't know. It's kind of odd. Uh, <laughs> but we're going to take out that shower stall, 
And this is going to be the listing area. So you guys know I have my, uh, my listing boxes. So we're gonna create the listing area here. We'll have a black 36 by 36 box and a white 36 by 36 box. And uh, this is where I will do the listings. I'm thinking this wall over here will be all shelving for coffee. So we'll have all of our coffee up here um, to kind of keep it separated, keep our coffee inventory. Um, as far as box and uh, bubble wrap go, we have a lot of it. So one thing I had, um, had thought about was possibly, uh, I think we're gonna build this wall up about eight feet, which is about the top of that fake wall. Um, and once it comes over, we'll have space on top. Um, I was thinking of maybe storing some stuff up there if we have room. I don't know, that was kind of just just a thought. Or you know, there might even be room in here along this wall to just store some boxes. So that's kind of where we're at. That's what we're looking at. In my head, it makes sense. It's not a huge space, but um, I think we could definitely uh, make it work. I'm definitely excited to uh, get moved in <laughs> and uh, get our team over here. Uh, Sage is going to be here. Shelby's going to be here. I'm going to be here most of the time. And once we get all of that e-commerce, all of the online stuff moved over here, then we can start sorting through the stuff that's left over. We can start pricing, pricing it for um, the future store. Uh, we can uh, really evaluate what we have and uh, start cleaning it out and uh, preparing for, for what we're going to do <laughs> over at the other place. I foresee Banana Box Antiques in the future. That was the goal of moving, moving the online business over here was to get that space cleared out. Um, give Andrew his little metal detecting shop over there. Um, and uh, yeah, so anyway. Just wanted to give you guys the before. This is the before. And then maybe in a month from now, we'll have the after version. But on that note, I'm gonna head over to the shop shop um, and get a little bit of work done today. I just wanted to come over here and kind of see how things were going. Um, I think I'm gonna paint the walls like a light yellow. <laughs> you guys are like yellow. You guys know I love yellow. Not like a sunshine yellow, not like that yellow, uh, but like a really pale yellow. I, think. I was gonna say, they may actually kind of be a yellow, but I think they're more of a cream. So this is all gonna come off. I'm gonna pull all this off. This is just contact paper. I feel like this trim can probably, I don't know. Maybe we gotta put trim up on the rest of it. And then over here, this can all come off too probably pull all that off um I don't really or maybe paint it I guess we could paint it it might actually be a nice wall to have if we want to like photograph something against so maybe it's not the worst but they're going to be moving it that way so we'll see they might just put drywall on it I don't know we'll see what they decide to do with it I don't care either way but um yeah I first see this place being a, a happy light yellow <laughs> The textures on the wall are kind of driving me nuts though, I'm not gonna lie. I asked dad, I was like, do you think we could put like beadboard? Is that what it's called? The paneled board? I like, we could put some wainscoting, wainscoting, um, panels, <laughs> maybe some trim. I don't know. But there's just so much happening. We've got like this tile texture that we have the, uh, the up and down. Then we've got all these patches. So I have to figure out what I'm gonna do with the walls because Currently, they're driving me a little bit bonkers. Then, we have permission to pull up the carpet. I'm really curious what's under the carpet. I kind of want to peel it back, but also I'm a little afraid that if I do, I don't know what's gonna happen. Let's find a corner and just, oh, I think it's glued down good though. That might be a project for another day. But I am curious. I wonder if it's a wood. What do you guys think? <laughs> Put, put your vote in the comments. <laughs> I am curious what is underneath. We might find out when they pull this out, actually. We might see what's underneath there. 
Hmm, I'm excited. Yeah, if it's wood, we'll just pull the whole thing up. I think I'd like it better wood and then I'll just get a regular rug for up here. That maroon is like, it's not, my, it's not happening for me. I'm just not a fan. <laughs> Alrighty, so um, yeah, let's head over to the shop shop. And uh, we'll be back here in a week or so. I'll give you guys an update. Um, we'll see where we're at um, as far as getting this place into shape. Oh, and I should have mentioned, we're gonna have like a little coffee bar over here. You, you cannot not have a coffee bar. <laughs> Full service coffee bar. We brew in coffee every day. Probably the flavored stuff because Andrew's not gonna be around to complain about it. So it'll be amazing. But anyway, I'll see you guys at the shop. All right, well, we have arrived at the shop. I've got my solar eclipse glasses ready. <laughs> Look at that. So we went through all those boxes from the auction. Pretty excited about that. We've got one left, and this one has some odds and ends that are going to take some research. The other stuff, I could just sell it off because I knew what it was. And here we have, oh boy, and here we have Native American pieces that I thought were really nicely done. Um, carved pieces made in Alaska by like a totem pole. Isn't that really cool? So I have to research these a bit more. Obviously, they're a lot more detailed. The potential for these, I mean, some of these, depending on the artist, depending on where they're from, some can be worth like 20 bucks, some could be worth a thousand dollars. Like it just depends. There's so much that goes into these, and I'm not that um, educated on them. Who am I kidding? I just don't know much about them at all. Um, so <laughs> so uh, I'm going to have to really do some research on these. Look at this. I really like this one. Even though this one's not even painted. It's marked there on the back. Now, what's really cool are these. Check these out. I was looking these up the other day. I thought these were so cute because they're all these little, like, little goobers. I think they're actually, like, they're not goobers. They are, um, <laughs> they are, um, what is what are they called again not that but that is really cool what is that robert harris wow anyway um they're kachina dolls um and there's one in here i think it's this which one is it it's the one with the green base maybe it's this one there was one in here that was signed ah this one jk i was researching them the other day and there's an artist that um, has the abbreviation JK. Their stuff sells really, really well. I think this might be one of their pieces. So that could potentially be a really good one. But then again, they all look so similar. Because <laughs> they're all like similar figurines. This one's not signed, but look. Even the eyes look so close. So I don't know. This is long hair. That's really neat. I just love them. I think they're so cool. But this is really neat. I didn't even know Robert Harris. Hoppy. Hopi. H O P I. I think um, most of these are H O P I. Hopi. Hoppy. What's in here? There's just a random kachina in there. He's missing a few pieces. That he, they always seem to be missing, like, things they're supposed to be holding. Slide glass. There you have it. All right, so I'm still working towards getting this back room picked up, cleaned up. Um, we're making progress, though. It's a slow progress, but we're making progress. Um, <laughs> I thought it was going to have, like, a month or two to get to where I need to be, but um, they're moving right along on the updates to the building so I have to move a little faster so what I think I'm gonna do is I'm gonna clear off this cart um, and it's gonna be super easy because I have a sale on knickknacks scheduled for this Saturday um, and I will put the date up here in the corner for you guys um, it is going to be part two of our competition the fam the family face off who will be the winner we've got dad's cow creamer over here 
Uh, we have a few other items that I snuck on the cart. You know, we've got these amazing pieces of Murano. I may keep a few of these. As I have a three of them. Um, and I was thinking about that. I don't think I'm going to sell all three on knickknacks. I do have a whatnot sale scheduled for the 14th. Going to show my international buyers some love. Um, I will probably split those off a little bit. But for the most, for the most part, this was Juliet and Mom's find. So that's going to be available, of course. Uh, we've got this really nice piece. I picked this out. This is super thin. I feel like that has some age to it and I couldn't find another one in that pattern. It reminds me of Rose Medallion um, in style, but the age is like really crazy. So anyway, uh, I think I'm gonna clear off this cart. I think everything on this cart is going to go on the Saturdays, with the exception of a few items. Let's throw over on whatnot. This is Neodymium. Neodymium perfume. You can actually see it. It's kind of changing colors without even, <laughs> without even hitting with a light. So that'll clear off this cart. Um, I'm gonna snap photos of everything. I'm sure if I don't get through it, uh, Sage will give me a hand um, taking photographs and stuff. But um, then I gotta figure out this cart. Then we gotta figure out these shelves. So some of these items are larger items. Like for instance, this 865, that is a carg. Is that a carg? I didn't realize that I had. Yeah, it is a carg. Okay. Um, I've got a giant carg bowl here that I don't really want to ship. Um, this is Murano. This is signed. And this is Murano Scavo. There's just some crazy pieces on here that are not shippable. So those will probably stick around and end up um, in the in the mall, in the mall, in the, sh in the store. What are we going to call this place once we move out? And we're going to call it a store because it'll be open to the public at some point. Um, all those boxes are Andrews. I'm leaving those here. The weirdo can stay. Oh, that's just the creep in the corner. Um, <laughs> the books, I'll probably take the reference books. Those will go with me. The rest is all Andrews stuff. And uh, the red cabinet can come. I'll take you with me, red cabinet. I got a spot for you. Um, but yeah, other than that, maybe we'll, I told Andrew I was taking the golden tea. But, and Ashton and I couldn't get it to work the other day, so it's really not that exciting that we're taking it with us. we got to figure out how to get it on free mode, because it wants us to put quarters in it. <laughs> it's like a giant piggy bank that lets you play golden tea. You decided to shrink it down, <laughs> did you? <laughs> Let's see. What's happening out here? Where's this eclipse? Put on my eclipse glasses. Take a look up at the sky. I'm going to bring my retinas out of my face. How do I look, Sage? You look amazing. Do I? I can't see anything. I can't even see what I'm filming. <laughs> Am I filming me? <laughs> I can't even see. <laughs> it's like black. That's all I see. So I guess if you look up at the... Oh, yeah, I can see, I can see the sun. It's like a little blob. <laughs> it's really kind of anticlimactic, though, because I can't see anything else. <laughs> How's it look? <laughs> Here, maybe we could do this. Can you guys see it? Do you see what I see? Maybe? <laughs> There's nothing to see. It's just kind of lame. <laughs> do you just stare at it until something happens? We'll just wait. We'll wait for 15 minutes and yeah. see what happens. We've got fancy glasses I'm on. I'm staring down the sun right now. I know. Right. This is really anticlimactic. I'm done. <laughs> Call me when the, the sun goes dark. <laughs> Sage's job right now is to stare at the sun and let me know when something exciting happens. Not yet. <laughs> no. It starts at like two and it doesn't like happen until like we're standing out there like it's gonna happen any second. Yeah, we're we've like got a whole hour to wait. All right, I think it's finally happening. Let's go see. All right. Let's we're going see. inside. All right, maybe, I don't know. We've had some weird figures in the alley. <gasps> we can open it. Nobody's okay. gonna jump us, I don't think. I can't see. <laughs> <laughs> no, we can't see to open it. 
Oh my gosh. It's so quick. I kind of see it. I don't know. This is it. This is the end. Or maybe that's just the cloud. It's getting darker. Dun, dun, dun. Maybe just the clouds. <laughs> it's not actually yeah, I getting... I can't see anything anymore. <laughs> Alright, well I got bored waiting for the eclipse, so I came back in to list some more things. Um, we're gonna get some of this stuff listed. The problem is, I have to re-watch the competition video because at this point, I don't remember who got what, and I don't remember... Like, did I buy this, or was this part of the competition? I think I got this one. Really awesome decanter. I know I got that. And these, oh my goodness. Let me show you. I'm going to go get my black light. Are you ready for this? Look at those. Look how they glow. I say those because I have two of them. Did I already show you guys this? I can't remember if I actually filmed it or not. They are so orange under black light. I think this is my favorite glowy thing of all time. And then this is green. You see the green? It looks really green in the dark, but you probably weren't expecting that because it's clear glass. And this isn't a three, uh, three, nine, I don't know. This isn't the special black light. This is just your average basic black light. Oh, and this glows too. You can see the edge there. Maybe. So, um, I've got a few glowy things that I'm going to include. I didn't see anything else. Oh, oh, wait, wait. I didn't see a glow on that last time. Is that glowy? Is that, oh my gosh, that's neodymium and it glows. What? That's like, <laughs> I was going to say the trifecta. Uh, you know what? It is a trifecta. We'll call it that. It's a perfume. It glows green and it is also neodymium. So it changes from purple to blue. It's all the things. It's the trifecta. All right. So this is where we're at. <laughs> we're almost there. This is Andrew's. So this can actually go to Andrew. That's like a really, really old antique bottle. This is Andrew's and this is Andrew's. So those need to go to Andrew. I don't have anything to do with those. These I got for mom, so I'm going to go put those by her office. This, well, I'm going to go grab the, there, I think there's a bowl that goes with that. Um, and then the, the cart's pretty much clear. I got most of it listed, either for an upcoming sale or for um, buy now. Okay, the bowl that I need is this guy with those candle holders. I also grabbed a few other things that I have in my hand, um, such as this vase, which I think, I think I'm gonna put on Whatnot. We're gonna show some love to Whatnot. I'm gonna put this vase over there. I don't know who makes this. I really loved the design of it, so I grabbed it. You guys didn't see this because I bought it at auction, so <laughs> surprise. I also found this little, uh, this little yellow vase here. Uh, I think that would be Famille. Not there because that's a green. Female June, maybe. I don't know. Um, yellow. <laughs> so let's head into the back. I'm going to photograph these things for whatnot and this thing for something else. And um, I might have a little bit more room to stick stuff in my armpits. But let's see what we've got here. All right. So I just photographed all of my items for the Where in the World train on knickknacks. Um, this is my favorite. This one. <laughs> I'm like, okay, I'm gonna go photograph it and put it on the shelf and get it listed because if I don't, I'm just gonna end up hoarding it. It is so amazing. I love this cat so much. <laughs> it's so good, but it needs to go. I had to buy this stuff special on eBay, eBay and Etsy because I knew that there was no chance I would ever find enough um, items from Chili. Uh, Chile in in the time that I had uh, to prepare for this sale. So I don't know Maybe if I'm out and about I might find one or two items, but I don't find it very often So I was just so excited. I was so excited to choose Chile. So um, I, I 
it online and I bought and the great part is a lot of uh, a lot of the sellers I bought these items from were viewers so we'll have to uh, we'll have to share that during the sale and you guys can go and support them as well but um, yeah so uh, that's the start I still have a few more that are coming in the mail but this is the where in the world train and that um, it's the 27th and 28th I have two time slots I have one where I picked Chile I believe that's on Saturday and then on Sunday I'm going to be doing Massachusetts USA so that one I still have to gather some things up for um, and in the back this is our whatnot sale forming <laughs> we've got a whatnot sale forming um, this is for April 14th and then here is our knickknack sale for April 13th so it's coming along I'm getting lots and lots done Today was a very productive day. I got lots of things listed, uh, not just to my sales for pre-bids, but also in the buy it now. Um, it is now going on six o'clock. I've been here all day. <laughs> I know I didn't film that much. Um, usually when I get in the groove and I just start listing, it's like, why do you want to see me list? It's really boring. It's just me taking photos and listing stuff. Uh, let me give you a peek at what I did accomplish. And um, other than that, I think I'm going to see you guys tomorrow, hopefully. Um, I've decided that I'm going to try to spend a little bit more time here around the shop. I know not everyone is a fan of the shop videos, but I just, I need to get things done around here. Um, especially if we're going to be moving um, over to the new space. So I'm trying really hard to get items listed um, rather than uh, just move them over and have boxes and boxes of stuff. So oh, it's a lot. It's a lot. Um, and I don't know. I'm just, I'm not really feeling the shopping thing lately. I'll be honest. I'm not really feeling it. I don't know if it's just because I haven't had like a good shopping day in a while where I walk into Goodwill and it's like, oh, you know, the angels chorus starts and all that um it's just i haven't had one of those days recently it's just been kind of blah the music is loud and i'm just not finding much on the shelves a lot of the stuff is broken um and that you know that's not necessarily fault of goodwill i mean the loud music is um but i mean it's just you know it's all about timing and my timing has been off i guess um, I just got to get that right timing where I walk in at that moment that they're just putting that amazing thing out on the shelf and I just haven't had the best timing lately, I guess. So I'm feeling a little discouraged about shopping. I think I'd rather um, get some work done around here and uh, yeah, I will still put out shopping videos, but um, we're going to, we're going to focus on our goal to get moved. So keep an eye on knickknacks. I have a sale scheduled um, Tuesday this week, Wednesday. Saturday and I'm toying with the idea of Sunday. I have to look and see um, who's scheduled on Sunday, what's scheduled on Sunday. Our live sale schedule on knickknacks is filling up. <laughs> this week is insane. It is ins like in a good way, like seeing all of these sales scheduled and all of these people so excited to go live on knickknacks is just like, it's, it's so exciting. Uh, we've got lots of trains in the works, lots of sellers stepping up and wanting to have trains. So it's just, it's incredible. If you have not checked out knickknacks.net, come on over and check it out. I think we're up to like 48,000 listings, um, 2,600 sellers, um, and we're, I think, about to hit 19,000 members um, in just a few months. So it's growing very fast and so exciting. Um, I appreciate all of you who have uh, who signed up and became a part of our community. Um, it's free, it's free to come over and join and browse and hang out. Uh, but anyway, I, I, uh, I also have a sale on whatnot. I have a sale on whatnot on Sunday. I haven't been giving it up enough. I haven't been giving much attention to whatnot, uh, simply because that's not where my, I'm just, you know, uh, but, <laughs> but, um, I haven't forgotten my international buyers and uh, whatnot does allow for international shipping. So I have uh, committed to having a whatnot sale on April 14th and I'm going to follow through with that and uh, hopefully I see some of my international uh, friends over there on the 14th and I'm gonna load it up just like I would any other sale. Um, obviously I picked out some glass today. I'm gonna continue to uh, putz around the shop. I have uh, a really awesome um, few vases coming around this week. Uh, I might list one or two on there, but 
I think on that note, I've babbled on enough. I'm going to get out of here. I'm going to head home. Uh, I'm going to go see the fam. Um, and I hope you guys enjoyed hanging out with me on stage today. The eclipse was... It was anticlimactic, but it was a, it was a fun day. <laughs> so um, I will see all of you tomorrow. So long.